Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. So if you are new to my channel, every episode I like to do an affirmation before the video to kind of set the tone. So, um, and if you are not a new um, watcher, hey, how are you? What's up? So let's get into today's affirmation. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Release. I allow my career to be as big as my God. I allow my career to be as big as my God. I allow my career to be as big as my God. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Release. What is up? Okay, guys, so you know that I have been pursuing a career in the entertainment industry for three solid years. I moved to Los Angeles to the April 1st of 2014. I'm actually coming up on four years. <laughs> and it has been the journey. The Lord and the enemy have just been like coming at me from all angles. But I am more than a conqueror. And that is what I have been realizing and recognizing is that I am resilient. I am strong. I am more than a conqueror. So bring it. This video is for my people who are background actors who want to do background work. I have been doing background work since like 2010, I think. Um, I used to live in New Jersey and in Brooklyn, so working, so I was able to sign up for Casting Networks. Casting Networks is the website that you are going to use that is going to allow you to book background work as well as non-union work. Do you need a reel? No. Do you need professional headshots? It helps. But if you do Casting Networks in New York, you can go to their office, they'll take a picture of you, like of your head, and that will be your profile picture. And do you need like a resume? Not really, but signing up to Casting Networks is going to help you build up a resume every time you book a non-union job or every time you book a, um, a non-union like music video or a non-union non commercial or um, background work. So. This video is really just about background work. So I've done background on Girls on HBO. I've done background on Law & Order SVU. I've done background on a few music videos out here. Um, and it is such a unique experience being a background actor. I tell everyone, if you want to be an actor, do background work first just to see if you even like it because it's 12 hour days. Um, and uh, background actors usually don't get food until after everyone eats, until the main crew, until the until the main cast eats. The background workers usually eat like the scraps. Um, <laughs> and sometimes, depending on the set, you you get mistreated or nobody cares about you. But I've never had that. Like I've been blessed to have always had positive experiences on set, except for the first time I did an extra job. It was for New York, I Love You, the movie New York, I Love You, and there were hundreds of us and it was a 12 hour day got paid like a hundred dollars which like back then was fine but today i'm not doing that and it was freezing cold in times square oh my god we were shooting in like january times square it was freezing at one point me and my friend we literally snuck away to go hang out in the mcdonald's across the street because it was cold and we had to be cheering it had to be new year's uh-uh so i said to myself oh no i would never do background on a movie set again because tv shows come to find out have way better food tv shows and music videos that's where you're gonna get some good food so um when you are a background actor you're gonna meet a lot of personalities and you're gonna meet a lot of people who have you know booked more work than you and they're just doing background work because they feel like being on set or they need that extra money but you're going to meet a lot of personalities and the most important thing is to not be easily influenced by the other personalities that are, that are around you're always going to meet that one person who is very like actory and when i mean actory they'll be like Oh yes, well I played in this with Shakespeare and, and I did this with my hat and, and, and I went there with it. Like you'll always meet that person who's just very theatrical, right? You can always tell the people who have like studied theatrically and have like that theatrical background. Like, so just take them with a grain of salt. Cause to me, those people are so annoying, but take it with a grain of salt. And, um, 
don't let it bug you too much because that shit bothers me but to each their own you might like that you might like people like that but there's always someone to learn from on set right so you know do your best to like uh, do your best to get tips and, and if you have questions ask other people who have been you know doing background or who have been working actors for a while like always ask always ask because there's so many gems and tips to get from other actors on set so that's another thing is just be open-minded and don't be scared to ask other actors questions um, also when you're on set be professional yeah you're not in front of the camera like as a lead role yet but be professional keep the complaining to a minimum if they ask you that you got to do the same take 1500,000 times you do the take 1500,000 times and you make sure to keep your composure if you are the last one to eat and there's no more of that the chicken wings don't complain if you if you're doing some if you're like doing something and you're not comfortable with it that's different but the biggest thing is do not complain. Be professional because you don't know how your paths are going to run with these people again. And you want to make sure that you show them that you are a professional actor. That you show them that you can handle anything. That you show them that you are able to be mature on set. So that's another thing. Keep the complaining to a minimum unless like someone is coming at you with like a hammer and is about to like crush your skull and then, then you know say something because your life is in danger but don't complain too much that's that's not a good look ever at all background work does not pay that well so sometimes with a background job you can make four hundred dollars in in 12 hours or four hundred dollars in two days or you can just make the average i think it's like 85 or 85 dollars for an hour which is basically the same amount if you work a retail job so you're not gonna make that much money but what you are gaining is the experience to see if you like it now for me i love every part of being on set i love watching the background i love watching the way that they set up the scenes i love the camera work i love um just the the manpower that goes behind these two hour movies these 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 hour television shows these two 30 to 45 second commercials i love it my heart gets so full every time i'm on set and i'm just like in bliss i love it so um it doesn't matter to me how much I'm getting paid when it comes to like background work or whatever. I'm just excited to be on set and to see the magic of it happen. Um, so be aware that you're not going to get paid that well, but you are gaining so much experience. And again, like I said, there's going to be so many gems dropped and tips. And, and even if you even if you're not into acting, I encourage you to do background work because maybe you're an aspiring stylist. There's going to be stylists on set that you can connect with. Maybe you thought you wanted to be an actor, but now you want to be um, a, a production assistant or maybe you want, you want to be a cameraman. My, again, I have been blessed with having very positive experiences on set so it's nothing for me to go up to a, a first assistant director a second assistant director or the director themselves and just being like hey I've always wondered this or hey I've always wondered that so again take full advantage and take it all in because it is a very magical amazing experience to be part of a production no matter what it is it really really is and and again if you're not an actor but you want to see what it's like to be on set book your like be an extra do some background work there's no harm in it whatsoever like if you have the opportunity if you live in a major city if they're shooting stuff then do it um again so the website on the east coast or the main website is called casting networks it's about ten dollars a month now if you live in la it's going to be called la casting and what you do is basically you just self-submit so you'll just see something like you'll see um let's say non-union meaning you're not part of sag after non-union um at&t commercial they're looking for redheads with freckles 18 to 25 and if that's you then you'll self-submit and then you'll see what happens so i like to try to submit myself for stuff now i submit myself for stuff for the things that i like the things that i really want to be a part of not for any old thing like i'm past that but in the beginning yes submit yourself for any old thing because you just never know. You never know. You hear stories all the time of people doing background work and now they're, you know, becoming the feature background or they're becoming like 
a lead role. You just don't know. Even Brad Pitt did extra work. So, like, do not despise small beginnings. And even Lupita. Lupita was like a production assistant before she became an Oscar winning actress. So again, don't despise small beginnings. One of Flying Lotus's videos, I completely forgot what the name is. I'll leave it below. You can catch me in Nitty Scott's La Diaspora video as well. Shake him up. But that was an amazing shoot. Like, she flew us out to like Mexico and we got to shoot in the Mayan, like, the Mayan caves. It was amazing. Um, you can also catch me in, I don't know if you guys are familiar, but there's a reggae, a German reggae artist named Gentleman. And, um, in your, I think the video is called In Your Arms. You can also catch me in that music video. So I've had a lot of really great experiences doing background work, especially for music videos. I really like it. And of course, I had an amazing time doing background work on HBO Girls. That was before it became this big thing. That was like season one. You can see me like down in the corner. Um, but yeah, I encourage you to do background work and I hope that you take the tips that I've given you. Don't complain. Um, take it all in, ask questions, and just enjoy the moment, enjoy being on set. So if you guys have any questions about more, more about acting things or whatever, please feel free to comment or ask me questions below. I thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys next video.